New episode of Surprise Guest with P. Arcangel today and I hope you're all ready for another surprise conversation para sa araw na ito dahil bagong guest ang makakasama natin and as usual, I have no idea who today's guest will be pero uh, we will all find out together and we will all just enjoy this conversation as it goes along. So, um, let's uh, take a look at today's clues. Ito na. Napapanood natin siya tuwing hapon sa isang serye. Ah, okay. GMA Afternoon Prime. Pero matagal na natin siyang napapanood usually in indie films. Dr. Santos, you've turned this hospital into a circus. Sabi nga sa isa niyang linya. Ay, parang kulang ako sa delivery, I'm sure. Oh, ang makakasama natin today ay ang actress na si Che Ramos Kosho. Oh, doktora, sa abot kamay ang pangarap. Hi, Che! Hi, Miss Pia! <laughs> Hi! Uy, nice to meet you! Surprise! Surprise pala to! <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> oh, you know what? Nakikita kita sa TikTok. TikTok? ni ni Sir Richard. Recently, meron siyang pinos na parang nag exercise kayo, nag-workout kayo together. Kami ni para, Richard. Or parang ito sa dance. Tapos sabi niya, that was your exercise for the day. Tapos kasama niyo si na Pinky Amador, ganyan. Pero ikaw yung pasimuno daw. Ah, si Miss si Miss Pinky po lagi ang pasimuno. <laughs> Pero ako Hindi si dance ikaw. master nila. Ah, so, ikaw ang dance master. I would tell Richard, oh, wag ka masyadong kumemot. Hindi mo forte yan. Dito ka lang. Medyo para parang pogi tayo. Ganyan. <laughs> Or, oh, break down ko na yung steps. Magre-rehearse kami. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Kamusta naman yung ano nyo, yung show? I mean, kasi na guess na namin si Sir Richard and si Julia. Tapos, para sila na sinasabi nila na parang napakagaan ng set. Considering na the show is actually a drama and there are some really heavy scenes also in the show. Pero napakagaan daw off cam. Yes. Para siyang pamilya, Actually, we always say that. Parang, I think we're all pleasantly surprised sa chemistry, on and off. But you will see mga behind the scenes, may, may proof kami niyan kay Chucky Dreyfus na aming <laughs> resident uh, BTS. <laughs> Kung paano yung level ng kulit in between the takes. Oh, actually, sinabi nga yun ni Jillian na siya ang parang um, resident vlogger slash videographer. <laughs> so watch out kasi he'll caught you off guard. Minsan kasi lip sync, dance. Naka, nakatutok na pala si Chucky at naka... <laughs> Naka-video na yung mga ginagawa mo. Wala namang video na tulog or nakanganga, ganyan. Si Richard, <laughs> ang kanyang best body. Hindi niya once tulog. Sabi ko, ano to? <laughs> Napost ba niya yun? Pinost <laughs> niya. Tapos mayroong mouth na gumagalaw. Tapos nilagay niya sa thread, o oh, ba- bahala kayo matulog sa set. <laughs> ah, so nilagyan pa niya ng filter. Nako, resident uh, joker pala uh, siya on the set. So, sino yung number one na nakakaganti sa kanya? Nakaganti kami once yung monkey. Uh, ano yung monkey? Yung may filter na, di ba merong sa TikTok na, konichiwa, uh, uh. cute ka. So wala si Chucky nung naisip namin. Pagdating niya, excited na excited kami lahat. Sabi ko yung acting nyo, babaan nyo para, kasi baka ma-feel niya na ipaprank namin siya. Talagang it was a group effort kasi kailangan na namin makaganti kay Chucky. <laughs> Finally, pag gano'n niya, unggoy na siya. Wow! Gumana yung, ano, yung acting ninyo sa kanya. <laughs> Oo, p- pero talagang ano, excited na excited kami. Makaganti sa kanya. It was our proudest moment. <laughs> <laughs> kailangan group effort, no? Hindi pwede group isa effort. lang ang gaganti. <laughs> That means ganun siya katinde. <laughs> ganun siya katinde. <laughs> Ayun pa ako, chaki chaki payat pa ako dyan. Lagi ko siya tinatanong. <laughs> <laughs> o oh, yun lang naman ang concern nating lahat, di ba? Kung ano yung Correct. payat ba or not. Pero alam mo, I remember, Che, si Jillian, kunakwento niya, and even si Sir Richard, na parang nagkaroon kayo ng immersion before the actual taping. Immersion sa hospital para to see how it actually works, di ba, in the hospital. Kasama ka ba dun sa mga nag-immersion? Yes. Pinanood namin from the beginning of the, the doctor's days, mm-hmm. yung nagre-report sila on their cases. Tapos tinignan namin yung aming uh, respective assignments, si Chief Res. Mm-hmm. And then si Jillian and Richard got to actually... Get, going to an operating room. Ako hindi na kasama doon. Ah, 
So, <laughs> ikaw, what was your, what was the immersion like for you? So, they were presenting their cases. Tapos, tinanong ko, sino dyan ang chief res? Sa, so, sabi niya, oh, yan, yung mukhang tough. But, you know, a lot of them were tough on the residents. Kasi, doktor eh, medyo kinabahan nga kami sa level ng, that's wrong. May sabi nung isa, that's wrong. Hindi. Ulitin mo. <laughs> Oo, oh, <ay>, okay. <laughs> Because, you know, Life and death, siguro. So, they had to know their stuff. Is it your first time to play the role of a doctor? Na-corner ko yan eh, yung mga doktor. Ah, okay. <laughs> Madala ko doktor. But this is the first time I play a doctor this big. Um, that mm-hmm. actually says a lot of things. So, that means yung, ano, yung previous roles mo sa mga indie films, marami ka ng roles na nasa medical profession ka. Hindi. Uh, madalas, ano, ko anti-hero. Because I worked heavily with... Uh, with the students. So, I think feeling nila matapang na ano ko. Yan ang timpla nila sa akin. Si TV, on TV, they like me uh, as a doctor, lawyer, yan ang madalas ko, teacher. So, very professional. Very professional. Oo. Oh, oh, wow. So, wait, you said uh, the students, tama ba? You, you mentioned students, uh, see you na matapang? Oh, kasi um, people started getting to know me in the independent scene, di ba? Mm-hmm. I, I would work with the UP students na film, UP ah, film. Okay. Feeling nila, ano ko, anti-hero uh, kind of girl. So, kawawa sa una, mamaya, lalaban. Ganon ang mga roles ko sa indie. Ah, okay. So, very very Taylor Swift, <laughs> the anti-hero. Taylor <laughs> Swift. Oh, hi, it's me. I'm the problem. It's me. <laughs> Ganyan. <laughs> Ganon pala yon. Okay. Akala ko kasi baka nagtuturo ka rin. Uh, were you a film student? Did, did you take up film in or, or a theater student in college? No, you know, I never expected to be an actor. I was uh, pre-law. My father was hoping I'd be a lawyer talaga. Because in high school, debate team ako. Uy, talaga? Ang lakas kasi ng boses ko siguro noon pa. <laughs> oh. So, ma- talagang ano, mahilig ka sa uh, communication, public speaking, ganyan. Para, eh, because I went to Saints Co. Manila. That's the strength mm-hmm. of, of Saints Co. Manila. Gusto-gusto nila yung nagpa-public speaking kami. <laughs> I had no ah. choice. <laughs> My parents parang was not so much into the arts. Didn't encourage us to be in the arts. And then, so, kailan ka nag-decide to become an actress? Mahaba ang story ako, Miss Pia. Uh, uh, <laughs> I was first a dancer. Kaya pala ikaw ang dance master ni na Sir Chief, <laughs> Sir Richard. <laughs> I wanted to be a dancer. I was a scholar of power dance. If you remember ah, power dance. Power dance, wow. O, yun yung mga pang talagang yung mga super galeng, di ba? Oo. Mga oh. jazz hands. Wow. Nung college pa lang. Nung college, yes. Okay. I would go to the summer workshop. Nag-scholar ako dyan. I, and then my parents said, wag yan or something. I, so I went back to school. Tagayupi Pilos Banyos ako. They were doing a play. Mm-hmm. Nung una, dance master lang din. Parang, oh, we're doing Rashomon. Can you make the actors lose weight? So, oh, sige. Ano ko sila? Exercise. And then they did no exit by SART. Mm-hmm. Sabi nung isa, mag-audition ka. Surprisingly, I got in. Sabi ko, apa, o oh, sige. And then the director then is from, I think, UP Diliman, si Rolly Innocencio. Mm-hmm. Sabi lang niya, mag-audition ka sa CCP. You have an actor's voice. That's what he said. Kala ko naman, chika lang. Ano kaya ibig sabihin ng actor's voice? Siguro tumatapon, mal- ma- mala- ah. malaki eh. Ang baba. I think he was trying to give me the role of, the other role is was bland, you know, maarte. Nung narinig niya yung boses ko, sabi niya, okay, hindi, dito ka sa kabila. Kasi ang baba. Ah. <laughs> Isip ba kayo ng actor's voice? Malakas. Ah. Okay, sa CCP yan. Oh. And then I went to audition for Tanghalang Pilipino. Nung bata ka, would you join yung mga, yung mga summer workshops mo ba? Would always be mga theater, singing, dancing, ganyan? Hindi. Hindi rin? I was an athlete. Volleyball player ako. Grabe, napaka-well-rounded mo naman. Athlete, debater, actress, dancer. Because pag bata ka, your parents try to get rid of you over the summer, <laughs> diba? So, maghanap ka na activity. Ganyan yan. <laughs> It was all that. Now, paglaroin mo yung pagurin mo. No, but I wasn't I was very shy. I think until now, I'm shy. Uh, until now? Talaga? Mas madali pag I'm Dr. Enriquez, I know what she would Uh-oh. do. I think this is one of my first interviews. Oh, what an honor pala na isa kami sa mga first interview mo. <laughs> I'm more confident if, if I'm doing a role. Mm-hmm. Pero yung 
ano lang, I wanna sing as myself. Medyo shy ako dyan. Okay, sa bagay kasi parang when you're performing, you're doing it as somebody else, as a character. Yes. Ah, okay. Alam mo, I was thinking, yung nabanggit mo, di ba, parang athlete ka kasi ang dami mo mga sinalihan na workshops before, tapos nag-theater ka, tapos nag-debate ka. Parang ang dami nating similarities, pero napaka-different ng paths natin. Kasi usually, di ba, pag, pag ganyan, debate, tapos mabababoses, di ba, normally, they'll ask you, oh, but di ka mag, uh, mag-news, ganyan. Ikaw, hindi mo ba naisip maging news anchor or journalist if you were also into debate? Di ba, parang that's the usual path. I get asked. Mm-hmm. Uh, si Miss D na nga, you look like a uh, newscaster yun eh. Ewan ko. Parang sabi niya, but I get asked. Sa parang, why don't you go into the news? Sabi ko, pa, how do I get into the news? <laughs> <laughs> Paano ba, Miss <Ms>. Pia? <laughs> Paano nga ba? <laughs> you have to be a journalist. You have, diba? Eh, baka yes. I'm not so good at the writing part. Ah, okay. So, but you're, that means your interest was really more into the arts na theater because because also you have that, that, that talent, that gift of singing, dancing. Nagagawa mo kasi lahat. I wait. I do not sing. Ah, kala ko sabi mo. Okay, dancing, dancing. <laughs> Kaya ginagaling ako sa dance. Para hindi ako pakantayan. <laughs> Alam mo kasi ako, I have a tendency to assume na kapag maganda yung speaking voice, maganda rin yung singing voice. Totoo yan. People Oo. would ask me, siguro ganda ng boses mo. I don't know where the fear came from, pero ninenervyos ako pag kumakanta. Pero sa habot ko, may kumanta ako sa isang party namin. Not on cam. O, sabi kasi nila, safe space. <laughs> si Chucky Dreyfus ba nagsabi nun? <laughs> Oo, sabi, sabi niya, safe space to. Sabi rin ni Carmina, safe space to, ba? So, kumanta naman ako kasi naniwala ako sa kanila. <laughs> <laughs> Tapos, pinos ba nila? Awa ng Diyos. Hindi yung full voice ko. <laughs> I wait, before I forget, you have an actor's voice. Ay, wow, talaga. What a compliment. Nako, kinikilig ako. <laughs> Ang lalim din. Do you sing? Ba- Ay, nako. <laughs> Pareho tayo na reaction. <laughs> Oo, pareho tayo. That's why I feel, ano, like we are kindred spirits somehow. <laughs> yes. Nung sinabi mo kanina na hindi ka kumakanta, siya ko, ay oo nga, parang pareho talaga tayo. Pwede tayo mag-do it niyan. Oo, pwedeng-pwede. Pero hindi ako marunong sumayaw. Ayan, kasi ikaw marunong ka sumayaw, ako hindi ako marunong sumayaw. Ida dance master kita dyan. Baka sabihin mo rin sa akin, wag masyadong kumembot. <laughs> kasi hindi ko kaya. <laughs> <laughs> sa ulo na lang. Pero you know, because I was very, ano ba to? When I was younger, I wasn't, I'm going to be this, I'm going to be that. It mm-hmm. wasn't like that. Medyo kalagka rin ako. Meron ditong ano, punta ka. O- okay, ganyan. I wasn't a goal setter. It was more, o oh, punta ka dito na ganito, try mo to. Okay, mas ganun yung personality ko. Kesa sa, I wanted to be this and that. So, when you finally decided to to be a full-time actress, nahirapan ka ba to explain this to your family? Kasi sabi mo, they were more uh, on the professional side. Diba your dad wanted you to go to law school, ganyan. Was it a difficult conversation that you had to have with them? Yes, very difficult from the get-go. And it was difficult to admit to myself. Kasi nakakatakot to finally commit to it. Kasi pwede na ako mag-fail. Noon, ano lang eh. Oh, okay, I'll try it out. So, whether you do well or not, it's not your fault. But once you say, okay, I'm going to be an actor, pwede ka nang... It's scary to be an actor eh. Pwede ka na mag-fail ng legit, legitimately mm-hmm. fail on what you're doing. So, how did you eventually convince them to just, you know, let you be? I said, you know, I, I want to be good at something. My sister is an uh, industrial pharmacist. She's the smart one. My brother is in business. A- ako yung cute. <laughs> <laughs> Cuteness. <laughs> I think they had no choice. I kept going at it. I just kept doing it. It was a place like in the in theater, I felt at home. The most at home with the people there. Kesa sa school, kesa sa... It just felt right that I was there. Tapos nagkadisiplina ako. Because you had the call times and you had to memorize the lines. You had to show up. It made me a better person. I think eventually they started seeing that. You said na parang uh, it was in theater that you really learned all these things, the discipline and all. Um, How would you differentiate theater from TV? Because there are some people, I remember may mga na interview na ako before. Like I interviewed si Candy Pangilinan and she said na, kasi her background is also theater, sabi niya, iba talaga ang theater sa television. Parang in theater, you have to act big. In TV, you have to learn to do things like, you know, parang the tiniest details dapat ma, 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 ta translate mo yan on cam. Oh, and you know, before I say anything, I'm not a fan of 
comparing either of because they are so different. There's no comparison. Well, in theater first, you don't see yourself. There's no playback. And during the time I went into theater, there was no award-giving bodies, was no social media. In my heart, I was one doing it because God called me to do it. Number two, I wanted to change the world. You know, original dream ko through <laughs> through the material. Speaking to the high school because high school students would watch us. Pero yung mga practical na bagay, unang una, we're not paid that well in theater. Na it's become an ongoing thing, di ba? Mas mayaman ka siyempre sa TV. That fact actually malaking bagay na. Pwede ko ba mm. sabihin yun? Anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> Kasi ako, tumutungo lang ako dito. <laughs> Pero on terms of craft, so the environment is different that way, di ba? Mas merong me against the world feel si theater eh. Gawa mm. Pero sa craft, you have to be seen all the way to the back of the room. So kailangan talaga you throw the voice. Mm-hmm. And number two, we spend so much time with the material. We read it for a week. Sabi nga nila, galing nyo mag-memorize. But we've been reading the same material for two months. And mm-hmm. you really, you have the luxury of getting into character. Nagiging best friend mo talaga yung character mo. Meron kang mm-hmm. the luxury of time to get to know your character, find nuances for it. While on TV, believe din ako, emotion is on the surface. That's mm-hmm. that's that's amazingly hard. Kasi ito hindi pa siya sunod-sunod, di ba? Biglang si Jillian, crying scene siya agad on, you know, on a bright morning. Ang galing. Nandito yung sur- on surface siya. Tapos wala siyang pinanggalingan. Kaya nung una nahirapan ako, eh, parang ito yung agad eksena. Saan ako huhugot? Hindi chronological order. But both, you do bo- I think I learned so much doing both. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's made me a better actor. And now you get to enjoy both. Yes. Pero mm-hmm. si theater ay hindi ko masyado nagagawa with my ah. schedule. Yung sa mga indie films mo, do you have like a favorite among all the films that you've done? It was Gerald Tarog, the director of Goyo and General Luna, that put me on the map. When we were both starting out, kami dalawa yung parang tag team. I did one independent film with Christopher Gozum and it was Seven of Us. Cast and crew na yan. We had to bring our own food, ang catering mami niya. Maganda yung in the experience na yan. The film went on to win parang sine Manila. We weren't expecting that. Sabi niya kasi papalabas lang namin sa bus. Sa bus? Sa bus. Kasi taga Pampanga siya. So pa, sabi niya, he wanted to preserve the lo- local language. Nung prinesent mm. niya yung pitch. Mm-mm. So that the kids would hear it. Kasi poetry. Yun lang yung goal namin. Gumawa nun. And then it went on to win so much awards na gulat na gulat kami na kalalami na naglalaro kami. Doon sa movie, you were speaking full kapampangan. No, we were just in images. So, mm-hmm. anak pa no, child of the sun. That's the... Uh. And then, nagkaroon, binagyo yan after. So, he was able to shoot the important places. It was a... Mm-hmm. Uh, wow. Maganda yung... You were doing it for yourself and then you know it's 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 reached so much audience in, in, in sa television you've done uh, Manopo di ba you were in Manopo recently I was Ken Chan's lawyer oh nga no dun ka lawyer but I was Aiko Melendez's sidekick in Prima Donnas that's right also sa Prima Donnas meron ka pa there were, wait there was one more weren't you also in um, Dragon Lady yes I, I was a newscaster Ah, para? See? Alam mo, sabi ko na nga ba talaga, <laughs> there's something that's connecting the two of us together. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Meron ako, ano to, may, I did a film. I was also parang a host. Newscasting ang hirap niyan on, on screen. <laughs> Sobrang hirap uh, Ako na. naman sasabihin ko, ang hirap maging artista. Parang ano talaga, kanya-kanya. Kanya-kanya. <laughs> kanya. <laughs> But when, if, when I play, like a, a field reporter, nervyos na nervyos ako. Bakit naman? Hi, I'm Howie Severino. My colleagues and I developed this idea of creating a podcast as a safe space for sharing insights with leaders and interesting people across diverse backgrounds. I've been a journalist for 33 years as a newspaper reporter, news anchor, online editor, and documentary maker. But podcasting is fresh territory for me. Check out the Howie Severino podcast, an original for GMA News and Public Affairs. New episodes will stream every Thursday. Listen for free on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and other platforms. Empower yourselves and be safe. Weren't you also in um, 
Dragon Lady. Yes, I I was a newscaster when I play like a, a field reporter. Nervyos na nervyos ako. Bakit naman? Kailangan yung memory siya. Yung delivery niya na napaka straightforward and then tuloy-tuloy tapos I want sabi ko nga sa direkto. Uh, pwede po ba mag-cellphone? Kasi di ba nagdo-notes naman sila? Sabi niya, sige, nang hindi ka makarating sa studio reporting, okay, may memorize ko na to. <laughs> <laughs> Balik na tayo. Ako naman before, kasi di ba, um, I really started out as a reporter and then I used to do Art Angel, which is a show for kids. Tapos parang meron kaming mga, uh, a little bit of skits in the show and then parang hirap na hirap sila sa akin kasi sabi na, pwede ba yung delivery mo less news, mas ano, mas pambata? <laughs> So kaya kaya yung ibang terms um alam ko sa acting alam ko kasi parang I had to do some workshops also and I remember that sabi ko ang hirap pala ang hirap talaga maging artista and then they would always say always na lang even like kung wari sa pag ibang mga public affairs shows they'll try and say oh, tone down natin yung pagka news <laughs> tapos okay. ini-imagine ko ikaw naman para sinasabi na i-up mo yung pagka news <laughs> i-up mo yan oh, masyadong casual <laughs> <laughs> oh, but Art Angel is wonderful ah. I want to say that it's a wonderful show. Oh no, teka, nanonood ka ba no nung bata ka pa? Hindi. Matanda na rin ako noon. Matibot ako, matibot. Wait, nagbatibot ka pa. Alam mo, nung bata ko, sabi na mommy ko, um, pina-audition niya ako for batibot. Hindi ata audition. I think nagpadala lang siya ng ano, yung mga video samples, ganyan. Oo. Hindi na ako nakapasok. Hindi talaga ako artista kasi. <laughs> Batang batibot ako, talagang... Yan ang show ko noon. Now that you've experienced, kasi parang you've tried basically everything, di ba, Che? You've done theater, you've done TV, you've done film. Do you think you'd want to choose just one or you still want to be able to do all? I think it's a, a, a blessing to have been able to do all. Keeps me on my toes to have to keep, nakikisama ka sa bawat anong yan eh, environment. Mm-hmm. And I think hindi lang ang pag-artista, hindi lang on cam. A lot of it happens off. And yung grit, yung grit ng every character mo really comes from who, who you are. May mm-hmm. mga bagay, dun mo talaga yan mahuhugot. And having worked in all the mediums, has, parang has given me that gift. May, nagkaroon ng grit. You don't feel like you're bigger than all of it. You're always a student somewhere. Masarap mm-hmm. yun. Na, nag-aaral ka ulit. Bago na naman to. Asan yung red dot? Laliitan ko yung acting ko dito. Yung director namin sa Abot Kamais, Wonderful director. So, I'd ask for tips. You know, he'd say, oh, talaga, seasoned actor daw, ganyan. Sabi ko, no, I'm learning so much from you. And that's the gift. Being able to do all of it, the theater, ganyan. Natututo ka. Hindi ka yung, ay, ang galing ko na, so, mag-TikTok na ako dyan. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but that's really a great mindset, no? That we're always students of whatever craft or whatever profession we find ourselves in. Because the minute you parang stop learning or stop trying to learn, parang that means that the passion is no longer there, di ba? So I think that's great advice that you have to learn all the time. And now, you have a family of your own now. Yes, And, I have a 10-year-old. Te- wow, wala sa itsura mo na may 10-year-old ka na. <laughs> <laughs> Akala ko I was expecting newborn or ano ba yung mga toddler. Thank you. <laughs> yung family mo ba, uh, they, they embrace the fact that you are uh, acting and in theater. My husband is also an actor. Ah, uh, that's right. Yes. Wait, yes. does he do theater and television both? Yes. We also came from the from Tangalang Pilipino. We met doing uh, ano, Tatlong Maria. Ah, in Tangalang Pilipino. Yes, yes. What was his role sa Tanghalang Pilipino? Sino siya doon sa Tatlong Maria? During that time, scholar pa siya. So, aaminin ko sa yung older of sa kanya. Oh. <laughs> Ako, guest returning. Ano, guest. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> Nasaan ba siya? Baka nakikinig siya. Hindi <laughs> ko yan narinig niya. <laughs> siya ang gumawa ng setup ko. Ay, <laughs> wow. Ang sweet naman. Oh, what's it like working with your husband? Ah, no, una, nakaka-conscious kasi... Tingin tingin sa iyo. Ah. Hindi. ah. <laughs> Pero nung uh, iba na pa mag-asawa. So, what's it like? Pag siya ang tinanong mo, we did a play in the, during the pandemic. Mm-hmm. And it happened in our bedroom. I don't know if you heard of Virgin Lab Fest. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yan, fan kami of. That's the place where we give back because mga newbies yan eh. So, nung pandemic, we did a play. Naka-cellphone lang kami sa sa kwarto namin. We had to do the may nag-blackbacking kami. Talagang tinakpanan. Oh, oh, so mm-hmm. kung yung asawa ko ang tatanungin mo, how is it working with me? 
Minsan masungit ako. Memorize ko na yung lines mo. <laughs> Nangyengi, alam ako, ganyan. Uh, <laughs> minsan talaga, no, mahirap na katrabaho mo yung asawa mo. Kahit na y- that's where you met, di ba? Pero pag Correct. asawa mo na, tapos makakatrabaho mo, parang magkakainisan talaga kayo minsan, no? Siya, inis na inis talaga sa akin. <laughs> Nakingi, alam ako, hindi yan yung line, yung isa. <laughs> ako, I always tell my husband, I cannot imagine working with him now kasi magkakainisan kami. Yung, eh, hindi ko kaya yung uutusan niya ako to say, say a line or pwesto ka dito. Parang siguro nako away siguro yun. <laughs> Talagang kindred spirits. <laughs> But when, so he's, he's the first act, he's the only, I'm not sure I'm the only actor, ha? yung Virgin Lapid, to have completed the first to present nag-iisang aktor na nakakompleto siya ng Virgin Lapis. Oh, dahil oh. sa iyo. Hindi, hindi, dahil sa kanya. <laughs> <laughs> Kala ko kaya i-attribute sa iyo. <laughs> Did the drama once. I came in during their um, technical rehearsal and as a colleague, wholeheartedly took notes for him. Nawala, it was the parang only time hindi ako asawa nito. Sandali lang, bigay ako ng note. So it was my most collaborative spirit with him. <laughs> Ang galing na kaya mong ano, no, detach yourself from the role of his wife at that time to be able to ano, to be able to give, you know, professional notes and critiques. Kinaya ko, sabi ko kailangan ko kayanin to para maganda performance niya. Wow, Ang sweet naman. Ang sweet din naman noon. Na appreciate naman niya. Oo. Pero diretso kasi ako magsalita, ganto, 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 ganyan ha. Mahala ka na. Break a leg. <laughs> <laughs> Pwede end naman may break a leg. May I love you ba? <laughs> meron, meron. <laughs> <laughs> At least hindi nakalimutan yung break a leg tsaka I love you. Pero um, aside from uh, your your acting um, in theater, in television, of course, you're very busy with Abot Kamay Ang Pangarap. What are the other things that keep you busy right now? I like taking care of my kid. She, I like driving her around. PA na PA ako sa kanya. <laughs> Surprisingly, ang hilig kong gawin yung homework with her. I'm not always the nicest mom, ha? But mag enjoy ako doon sa online, ano niya. Oh, e eh, paano yan uh, magsa-summer break na ulit? So ikaw ba, sa, di ba sabi mo, the parents try to get rid of you pag-summer. So ikaw ba, ine-enroll mo din siya sa marami mga summer classes and workshops? Ballerina yan. Ay, wow, bali. I tried to homeschool her nung bata siya. So, mm-hmm. she was the one to, to choose ballet. Tried. Hindi uh, na siya homeschool. <laughs> ah. Nagsalita na. Ang daming no. So, okay. Ah. Regular school tayo. So, she goes to ballet year-round. Oh, so hindi lang summer all hindi year round. Summer. She's starting to compete. O, oh, diba? She goes to Axe Manila. Ay, ang galing naman. May competition din pala sa Bali, no? Para I would have thought puro performances lang siya, ganyan. So, may mga competitions din pala. So, bagay yung mga dance competition? Oh, and they compete pretty early, ha? Para mga 10, 11, pwede na. Oh, so pwedeng-pwede na yung anak mo. So, meron din pala, mahilig rin siya sa arts. Parang she has a, she has that love for the arts this early on. Yes, yeah, she's kinetic, mataas ang energy niya, eh. So, Alam mo, okay, Che, you know, um, I know you're you're busy with everything that you're doing right now. So, thank you so much for taking time out to be with us. Um, thank you for having me. Oh, it's super fun. <laughs> Kailangan natin talaga magkita. Before we let you go, okay, nag-prepare ng game yung ating team. Surprise game for you and me. <laughs> Ang game na to is, whose line is it anyway? Parang like the show, whose line is it? Pero, okay, let's, I'll read the mechanics ha. I'll just go through it. So, ito mangyayari. Huhulaan ni Che kung saang pelikula o palabas na bagit ang lines mula sa kanyang mga naging role at kailangan niya rin mag-share ng memorable experience from that role. Nako, sana maalala mo lahat ng ito. Ano, galingan ko, di ba? Oo. Di ba? Uh, walang prize, pero ano lang. Honor and, and uh, pride. Integrity. And... Yes. <laughs> First line. Nako, nakakaya. Paano ko ba ito i-deliver? Basta sasabihin ko na lang yung line. Okay. Carl, kumain ka na masarap ha. Pag kinulang ka, magsabi ka lang. Carl, kumain ka na masarap ha. Pag kinulang ka, magsabi. Ako ang nagsabi niyan? Ikaw nagsabi niyan. Gaya sa pelikula. Ang gali! <laughs> very good. At naalala mo yung role mo, character mo. Yes, ako yung mami ni Carl. <laughs> ah, very ako good. Carl. Yeah. Yes, ikaw nga ang nanay. Pangalan mo ay... Ah, ah, Adelaida. Adelaida. <laughs> Adelaida. Okay, yung, yung memorable dyan, ay asawa ko talaga dyan ay yung asawa ko. Kami, ah, 
And we did it at home. You did you shot this at home? Yes, through our phones. Kasi wow. si yung anak namin, ang eksena namin puro video, ano lang. Ah, okay. Video. Oy, galing ah. Memorable pala. Kasama mo pala asawa mo dun sa movie. <laughs> oh, and I'm, I'm proud of that, ano, gaya sa, maganda yan, gaya sa pelikula. JP Haba. Next. Naniniwala po ako sa Diyos, pero tao lang ang alam kong demonyo. Naniniwala po ako sa Diyos. Oo, tao pero lang. tao lang ang alam kong demonyo. Ano yan? <laughs> ba asawa mo? Humingi Horror ka ba ng clues? Pwede ba humingi ng coaching? Yung character mo dito, Laya. Si Laya. Ah! Mga tiyanan! Yes! Oh. Mga galit si Gerald. Di ko natanda na ganun. <laughs> ano kaya yung context ng line na to? Naniniwala ako sa Diyos, pero tao lang alam kong demonyo. Because Laya's dad, who's played by Pen Medina. Ah, siya yung, siya yung demonyo doon. That's what the whole film was about. Her healing. Okay, okay. Kaya pala ang bigat ng line, no? Oo, oo. Oo. Okay. Oh, ito. Mas recent to. Ma- okay. Mas recent to. Kems, I'm so sorry. Bakit ngayon lang naman ako nagkamali ah? Si Victor, si Henry, laging palpak pero pinapatawad mo. Babawi ko, Kems. I think I deserve another chance. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Kendra, Darcy. <laughs> Galing. Okay. Well, parang first, ano pa lang, first word pa lang, alam mo na. <laughs> Oh, cans. <laughs> cans. Kami ni Aiko, naging super friends. Talagang... Oh, talaga? Oo, oh, yung nakakatawa yan si sis. Tawa na kami ng tawa nandyan. Magkasundo talaga kami niyan ni Aiko. Sis, hello. Oh. Tapos si Jillian nandyan din. I work with Jillian in Prima Donas. Oo oh, nga pala. No? So this is the second time na pala that you're working with Jillian. Oo. Oh, pero sa Prima Donas, I was always trying to kill her. Hindi <laughs> ko yung kaitsena lagi. Hinahabo lang namin yan. <laughs> okay, okay. Hindi <laughs> namin naabutan. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Iba pala. Very different yung dynamics. Next. Um, we are talking social awareness and responsibilities. Sorry ha. Hindi kasi ako contento mangitlog ng, ng mga mga... <laughs> Sorry ha. Hindi kasi ako contento mangitlog ng mga mga Katulad mo. May pakialam ako sa mga bata. Faculty. Gerald Tarog. Oh, Ay, very very good. good. Very good. May ano ka ba? Fond memories from this film? Uh, si Gerald kasi likes to... Maganda talaga mga lines si Gerald. It's nice to say them. Si, si Bea, who's there, was also, was also on theater, nag kami bago yan. Para tuloy-tuloy yung... Ano, working with Gerald and his team, laging pleasant. Pareho din kami ng wavelength. Yung, so. yung tipong anytime he asks you to be in a film, yes agad. Oo, oo, yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, direct. Alam na natin, ha? Oo, <laughs> Feeling ko kababata ako sila. Huwag ka kababata ako. Ah, naman. okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ito, last line. Yun yung best mo? Your best is bara bara work to me, Dr. Tanyag. If you can't do a simple task, how can you be trusted with a complicated task? Let's say, a tumor excision. Sige, sabi mo pa. Pwede, pwede ka. Ang ganyan na yun. Pwede, pwede ka. Pwede, pwede ka. <laughs> Abot ka mga ita pangarap, Dr. Enriquez. <laughs> Dr. Enriquez na habang off-cam ay um, nagda-dance master kay Sir Richard. <laughs> Pakembot-kembot. <laughs> Pakembot-kembot. Ang galing mo. And of course, Abot ka mga ita pangarap is something you're still doing. Uh, the, your, the show is still ongoing. Aside from yung mga pranks ninyo off-cam, what's the best part about doing abot ka may pangarap. I love Katie Enriquez. Um, I love the way she was. Nung nakita ko yung mahabang-mahabang pagsusungit na monolog niya, I immediately started working at sabi ko masarap sabihin to. Tapos masungit. It's a chance to look bad but not really be bad. Meron talagang seniors na who just want you to do so well. Yung play ng character na yun na talagang it was she's a pleasure to do. And of course, yung cast it really feels like a family. From the get-go, oh. ang saya-saya dyan. Parang ano na, based on my interview with you and um, two other cast members, so tatlo lang kayo ha, from the entire cast, pero based on those three interviews, parang feeling ko, kayo yung tipong every every year or every other year, magre-reunion pa rin kayo, even after the show wraps. <laughs> <laughs> Sana. And then, ano, para talaga pamilya, pag may kailangan technique, tech needs kay Chucky yan nung tatanong na kami and asara na asara wala na pipikon Pinky Amador makulit yan ha don't be fooled siya talaga ano tiktok na siya Sorry. pala yung ano siya pala yung nagsasabi na mag tiktok tayo siya na siya agad ano tiktok ready ka na ba gaganan na yan 
Halika na, tumayo na kayo. Patayuin na kayo man. Tunay na TikTok ano, master. Ang galing Wait. naman. And you would not guess that based on her character, no? <laughs> Nako, Che, thank you so much for um taking time out to be with us. It was such a pleasure getting to know you and having this conversation with you. And I really mean that. Pero Che, before we go, baka meron kang gustong sabihin sa lahat ng supporters, those who are avid fans of the show, and those who are aspiring actors also. Ano bang mga tips ang pwede mo ibigay sa kanila? Kasi alam mo, marami yung mga gustong maging artista, gustong maging aktor, gustong maging aktres, pero parang nade-discourage sila kasi halimbawa like you, di ba? In your family, wala namang ibang in theater or in the arts. So, how do you overcome that and how do you pursue your dream? First off, you know, you it's also good to pray about this if it's God's gift. We all have a calling. So, kung medyo yan ang calling mo, kahit gaanong kadaming disappointments, you'll keep going at it. Because ang takeaway mo is to actually do some of it, no matter how small. Ang daming bagong avenues ngayon, eh. may mga master classes online uh, that you can watch, books to read. Pero in acting, napaka-importante, you get the chance to na sumalang, to actually act. So go to as many auditions as you can, not just for the goal of getting the role, but you want people tell, telling people, I exist. Because kaila, ang artista laging dapat nag-exist. I exist. Um, it's a chance to overcome maybe the shyness or the ano. And, and to practice having to present yourself to people. Uh, and ngayon, mas okay na ang parents eh. Sa arts, hindi ba? Huwag lang yung nagsiskip ng school ganyan. But, you know, find ways to be able to to get yourself out there. Yon, mm. Practice, practice, practice. And sa viewers ng abot kamay na pangarap na sobrang solid, maraming maraming salamat mga kapuso. Kahit saan ako pumunta, doktora na. Yan, ganyan. So alam mo, <laughs> nanonood sila. Pakikurot si Miss Moira. Marami silang request. Ganyan. Talagang nakatutok sila. Maraming maraming salamat po sa panonood ninyo. Baka sa susunod may kukonsulta na sa'yo ha? Pag nasa, nasa grocery o ano. <laughs> ako, meron nga noon. May nervous nga ako. Talaga? Ano, humihingi ng medical advice? Kasi nung una, hindi nila ako kilali. So akala nila, totoong doktor ba to? People were asking during the first few parts of the show if I was a real doctor. O, oh, tamo. Ganun ka kasi ka-effective na akala nila totoong doktor ka na. Dr. Enriquez. <laughs> che, thank you, thank you talaga so much for being with us today. Um, I hope we get to see you around in the future in real life. Che, thanks, ha? Thank you, po. This super surprise was planned by the team of JK Karandang and Aubrey de los Reyes, edited by Shirley Paghiligan with the wonderful people of GMA Integrated News. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Till the next surprise. <laughs>